How would you like to take a list of people and upload that to Facebook and run ads directly to them? In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And I'm going to answer some of the most common questions and help you troubleshoot some of the problems that occur most often as you're doing this. Watch this. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. Thanks for being here. If you are brand new to the channel, we appreciate your support. What we're all about is helping real estate agents generate more leads, convert them, turn them into more transactions using Facebook and other forms of digital media. So if you want more tips, more strategies on how to grow your business, this is absolutely the place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to upload a customer list to Facebook. Now, um, as I start today's video, I'm going to include a link right here um, that'll take you to a video that I did last year about the same topic. Um, it's actually the most <laughs> viewed, uh, it's the most viewed video on my channel. And so um, I had tons of questions. And so I thought I would do a follow-up for that. That's what this video is and answer some of the most common questions. So that is really the nature of today's video is how to do it and answering a lot of the questions and issues that, uh, that you might come across as you're doing this. So with that, let me go ahead and share my screen. Now, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a business manager, uh, a business manager account. A business manager account is different than a business page. Um, so just to show you the difference real quick, um, just open up Facebook. You'll notice if I click on this little menu right here, um, once it finishes loading, just thinking about it. There we go. All right, perfect. So once I click on that menu, there's a section here that has pages, which is different than your business manager. The business manager is the next section down. So in order to upload a list to Facebook, the first thing you have to do is you have to set up a business manager account. You can do that by going to business.facebook.com. Again, business.facebook.com. Uh, once you've done that, and then you've also attached your, um, business page and your ad account to the business manager, everything's set up and you have everything that you need. So once you've done that, it should look something like this, where you've got your business page and your ad account attached to your business manager. So again, your business page and your ad account. If you don't have that, then you're not going to be able to do the things that I'm going to show you. So once that's done, you'll be able to go to this audiences section. If you don't see it over here, there's this little menu that pops up. You can access it there. It's also in the advertise section uh, right here for audiences. So regardless of how you get there, you're going to go to the audiences section. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on this uh, option that talks about creating a custom audience. And this screenshot will pop up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on customer list. You'll notice that in order to do it down at the bottom, it says it needs a .csv file or a text file. Um, so you are going to need that. Now you'll notice here as it talks about preparing your list that these are the main identifiers. So the main ways it identifies people is based on email, phone. Those are the two that you're probably going to use the most often, like the mobile ID, the Facebook ID, uh, app ID, and then the Facebook page user ID, you're probably not going to use those three. Um, and then the name is not enough by itself for Facebook to match because it just doesn't know who John Smith is, right? So again, email and phone are going to be the primary identifiers that you're going to use. Now you'll notice here that there is a template that you can download. So if you are starting from scratch, you may want to download the template. That way you've got everything or there's this also guide on the formatting guidelines. Now, I, all, I do highly recommend that you go through and read this, but the key ones is that any phone number needs an area code, the country code in front of it. So country code, area code, and then the phone number. And then the other thing that's important is that since they're matching on a global audience, you'll notice that it says important, right? always include the country because that's how that's one of the other ways that Facebook knows where it's looking to find a match. So you'll notice here, I've got this CSV file that's already prepared. 
I've got a column for the phone number that has the country code in front of it. Um, and then we've got email and then we've also got country. And so this is the file that we are going to use. So I do recommend going through and looking at that. I just hit the high points very quickly. So I'm just going to click on next. Um, am I adding a list for customer value, which means like how much they've spent with me for what we're doing in real estate? Not very necessary. So I'm just going to click on no. And then here is where I'm going to upload my list. So I'm going to upload that list. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it demo of customer list. And then once I hit next, what it's doing is it's looking at the columns on the spreadsheet and then it's trying to determine what that information is. So you'll notice that it recognized email automatically in both cases. Um, it recognized phone number and phone number. Now, this one doesn't have the country code, so I'm gonna put do not upload on that one. And it automatically recognized the country. So I'm gonna click over here to action needed. So name, I'm not going to upload that one. The first name is the first name, so I'm gonna match that one. Additional name, I don't need that one, so I'll leave it on do not upload. Last name is last name. Email value, there's nothing in that. It says empty row. This is the phone number that has the country code. So I'm gonna say that's a phone number. Same with this one. And you can do up to three phone numbers and up to three email addresses per person. So I've got everything mapped that I needed. I'm just gonna click on upload and create. Facebook's gonna work its magic. And you'll notice that list is now populated inside my account. So again, the hardest part of doing this in most cases is getting the list prepared. Now, that's the, the nuts and bolts, the very quick version of how to do this. Let's start talking about answering some of the most common questions that occur. Now, one of the most common things that occur is once you've set up your business manager account and you come in here to create a custom, oops, to create a custom audience, let me back up a couple screens. When you get here to create a custom audience, for some of you, this option right here of uploading a customer list is grayed out. So for some of you, it is grayed out. So let's talk about what happens in a case where the customer list option is grayed out. There are lots of different possible solutions to this. So let me walk you through all four of them. Number one is you might not have an ad account attached to your business manager. So in that case, you just need to go and attach an ad account. Even if you're creating a brand new one, that's fine. You just have to make sure that you have an ad account associated with your business manager account. So that's the very first thing to check. If you do have an ad account attached, the second thing is you want to make sure that you have a payment method. So if it's a brand new account, Facebook doesn't know whether you're a scammer or whether you're legitimate or any of those things. And so if you go in and attach a credit card number for payment, then that makes you more credible in their eyes. And that's another way that they'll unlock that feature. So make sure you have a payment method associated with your ad account. Um, and again, you can do that over here in your, um, you can do that over here in business settings. You would just go to business settings and then um, payment methods. And that's how you can take care of that. Now, the other thing that you can do, the third thing that you can do to fix it is you can actually run an ad, put it at like the minimum, like a dollar a day, run it for a day or two so that Facebook sees that you're, you're a real advertiser, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And oftentimes that will speed up how often or how quickly that feature unlocks. Because when it's grayed out, it'll say that Facebook needs to wait, quote unquote, a couple of weeks. Um, in order for the customer list feature to be uh, available. So one of the ways you can speed that up is just run an ad for a couple of days, put it at the minimum, and that way, again, Facebook sees that you're a real person. The last and final way is there are cases where you will have to wait, right? Um, in in 100% of the cases that I've personally seen in doing this with hundreds of clients is that, um, when we've set up their business manager account and had everything set up, 
there have been times where we've gone to audiences and clicked on, you know, create a custom audience and do a customer lit where we tried to do that. And it's grayed out just like for some of you, it has been as well. And uh, we have had to wait. But from the time that I met with them to the time that I met with them again, the next week, it was fixed. <laughs> so I, even though it says weeks, I've never had to wait more than a few days to have this feature not be grayed out anymore. So in absolute worst case scenarios, just be patient, give it a couple days, do the other things that I've mentioned to try and fix it as well. So that Facebook realizes you're a real advertiser. Um, and then once that's done, uh, it should be available. So uh, again, you got to have a business manager account, got to have an ad account, put in a payment method, do the things we've talked about and that feature should be available. And if you have to wait a couple days, it sucks. It's unfortunate, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Right? So that is the, the biggest question that anybody has ever asked me about this is it's grayed out, Kevin, what do I do? So that's the answer to that question. Um, one of the other questions that I get all the time is, okay, Kevin, I just uploaded this list. Is it gonna tell me how many matches? So you'll notice with the list that I just uploaded, it currently says populating. So what that means is Facebook is going through and it's looking at all the phone numbers, all the email addresses, and it's checking that information against um, user accounts. And so anytime it finds a user account that has the same data, it pulls that person into the list. So that's what's happening right now as the list is being populated. It takes a little bit of time for the, for the system to go through and do that. But you'll notice if you come back and check this in about a half hour, hour, or something like that, it won't say populating anymore, but the size, it will say less than 1,000. Now, the list that I just uploaded, it was like 1,100 contacts, something like that. But here's the thing, even if you uploaded a list that was 10,000, 100,000, whatever the size is, no matter what, this is always going to say less than 1,000. And the reason for that is because it's a privacy issue, right? So let me switch to, um, let me switch to one of my other accounts just to show you. So, um, so this one right here is a customer, where to go? Right here, this one is a customer list. And see how it says not available or these other ones will say below a thousand. You'll notice this one where it says not available. If I hover over it, it says audience size is not available to protect the privacy of people. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know how that protects anyone's privacy, but it will never show you that number. So people say, well, Kevin, how do I know how many people it actually found matches for? Um, the simple answer is you don't. You're never going to know. Facebook doesn't divulge that information for quote unquote privacy. So there's nothing you or I are going to do to, to fix that. But the way that you can kind of circumvent it a little bit is the first time you run an ad, when you run an ad to just that list, Facebook will show you the results of the ad. So it'll show you how many people they reached. And the number of people that they reach is a fairly good representation of the size of the list. It's kind of a backwards way of figuring it out. So if you upload a list of 1,000 and then you run an ad to that list and it says reach was 700, you have a pretty good idea of what the size of the list is and how many matches they found. So that's one way that you can, uh, you can figure out the number of matches, even though here in custom audiences, Facebook will never show you. Um, another question that somebody asked is, Kevin, can I add people, um, can I add people to the list once I've uploaded it? And the answer is yes, absolutely. So what you can do is you just simply click on the name of the list. You come over here to edit and it gives you this option to either add or remove people. So if you wanted to add people, you just simply click on add upload the file of people that you've added. It'll add people to this list. Frankly, it's very, the, it's very much the same of what you've already done. It's just adding it to this list rather than creating a new one. Um, you don't need to worry about duplicates. So frankly, you could take the same list, put the new contacts at the bottom, just upload the same list and uh, it'll work just fine. So that's how you can add new people to the list. Um, and then the other question that people have asked, is there a, uh, is there a limit on the number of phone numbers and email addresses? And, uh, I talked about that, but just to, again, answer the question, the answer is yes. You can have up to three emails and three phone numbers per contact, um, as you're uploading the list. And again, it just gives you more options 
of being able to match people. So that is, those are really the, the most common questions that I get about how to upload a list and how to troubleshoot some of the issues that you may come across. Um, so hopefully that was super valuable. Again, uh, I've also included a link at the beginning to the previous video. So you'll see two different tutorials on it. One, I go more detail. This one was faster just to cover the nuts and bolts as well as answer questions since I get a ton of questions about this topic. So that is today's video. Um, if you found it valuable, again, click the like button. We appreciate your support. That helps us tremendously, uh, get the word out and, and let people know about, uh, about this content and how it can help them grow their business. Also, like I said earlier, please consider subscribing if you want more tips and more strategies just like this. We put out new content every single week that you can use to be growing your business. So consider subscribing, click that bell notification, you'll get notifications every time we put out a new, uh, new content, new video. Uh, also, I'm gonna put up a couple of other videos right here that you can watch just to continue getting more strategies, more tips, for growing your business online. With that, um, if you have any other comments, any other questions, leave them down below. We will definitely answer them. And uh, if there's tons of them, we'll do another video just like we did this time. So with that, make it a great week. Keep crushing it in your real estate business. If we can assist you, we'd love to be able to help you with that and uh, help you get some of the fantastic results that our clients get. So with that, make it a great week. We'll talk to you soon and uh, have a good one.